Look at that thing. Not gonna take him out of the water at all. Yes, that is wicked. Oh, dudes, I was so, I was, the common size of these is like maybe up to there. This thing. Hey everybody, it is a beautiful day down under. We have the entire beach to ourselves. Check it out. Fantastic day. Let's see what shells we can find. I reckon we're gonna find some awesome shells. Subscribe down below. Let's get straight into it. Giant fella here, guys. We haven't seen one of these dudes in so long. At least two years. This is a giant pin cushion starfish. He is huge. Look at that thing. Not gonna take him out of the water at all. That is just so awesome to see. Look at that fella. Super heavy too. That is just incredible. Like I said, I haven't seen one of these guys in like two years. Even when I was diving, I never saw one. That is so cool. Imogen found it today. I walked straight past it. Look at the size of it, dude. Massive. Just chilling here at the beach. Not bad, eh? That is Pretty awesome. Cool. We have a textile cone shell down here. This might be very dangerous. I have no idea if it's live or empty or what. I'll grab it from its top. Whoa, that is empty. That does look like a, uh, look at that. That does look like it's a pointer, it's stinger there, but that's just a piece of sea urchin. Look at that, let's wash it out. Yes, it is empty. What? Oh my gosh, look at that condition. It has been so long since I've found a textile cone. Yes, that is wicked. Oh, dudes, I was so, I was watching it there for about 30 seconds before I hit record, just to make sure it wasn't empty because look at that uh, pointer in there. You would really think that that was the animal. That is crazy. Let's get that out. It's kind of sketching me out a bit. If I can, I don't think I can without breaking it. That is awesome. Look at that pattern, that color. My goodness, that is exciting. Guys, I am so stoked on that. It's been probably like three months since I've found a textile cone shell. Phew. That's pretty awesome. Let me get a reaction for you guys. That's what my face looks like right now. I am stoked on that. That is so exciting for me. Caught it at the corner of my eye right there. Nice. All right, let's continue Wait, search. Can you see the size of that thing? No chance that is whole. What? That thing is huge. No way. I've only ever found like three this size. Wow. The common size of these is like maybe up to there. This thing is giant and in awesome condition. Look how thin it is along there. Holy moly. Look at that. That is a giant. Nice. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's just incredible. Waited a few hours walking up and down the beach for the tide to go down. And look at this. We have not one nice bonnet, not maybe two nice bonnets, but I might see a uh, deer carry down there. We're gonna save that for last. Check this one out here, very nice. As you guys know, bonnet shells are relatively common here after a storm. What do you guys think? Nice, that, oh, it's got a tiny crack there. That's a bit harsh, but hey, that's a beautiful shell. Now we have the excitement. Surely that looks good. It definitely does look decent. Let me just put these ones down here on display. Whoa, super orange one right there. That's incredible. Look at those lines on the uh, underside of it. Very cool. It's even got an octopus hole that actually ate the animal that was originally living in this. So that was a nice little trio of shells. Very cool. We've been really lucky today. Having a lot of fun. All right, let's continue the search. It's super low right now, finally. Low checkered bonnet bay is right now. And it has a surprise for me, maybe. Look at this. Do you see it? Right at the near front here. That looks like a good Arabian carry. What do you guys think? Comment down below right now. Do you think it is A, going to be alive? 
B, going to be empty and a really good shell, or C, a very poor looking shell? Comment down below, let's check it out. Nice, it's like a, yeah, it's decent. It's like definitely empty, but hey, that's a nice shell. That's awesome. If you guys guess correctly down below in the comments, I will send you a free cookie. That is so cool. Nice. All right, let's see what else is here in Checkered Bonnet Bay. Never ever really get to look for this long in uh, the bay here, because it's always high. So it's interesting to see what's below. Sometimes there's an octopus here who lives around here. It's a very lucky day to see him. Nope. Guys, I love these low tide days. Look at that thing. That's gotta be nice. Come on, guys. Please pray for me that this is nice. Come on. Holy moly. That is huge. It's actually kind of cool with this window, though. Like, it's like a window into the side of the shell. That is awesome. I love these low tide days, you guys. It is incredible. This has been such a fantastic day so far. Yoo! That's exciting. Might be a bit old, but that could definitely just use a bleach bath and then it's, it's perfect. I love it. Nice. Guys, to end off the video, it looks like we have a shell dump here. So a shell dump means someone has brought their shells to the beach to dump them back. So let's check out what they gave up. We got a really nice bonnet shell right here. Very cool. Very decent colors actually. I kind of like it. I do see an Arabian here, but it looks pretty old looking. Yeah, that's super old. I don't know if I'll end up keeping that one to be honest. Hard choice. I do use about 80% of the shells that I find every month in monthly giveaways for the YouTube channel. I haven't done it in quite a while because I've been so busy. Uh, so what do you guys think? Should I keep them for the YouTube subscriber giveaway or leave them here? Then we have two zebra bullets here. One is really, really nice. Check that out. Definitely gonna keep that one. It's actually kind of freakish as well. And then that one there is missing its tip. So I will be doing the subscriber giveaway this month. Basically what I do is I give away about an entire uh, 10 litre box full of Australian shells that I've found over the last month. Completely free to one lucky subscriber. So we're gonna be running that this month. So uh, yeah, it's totally free to subscribe to the channel and you can be in the draw. Alrighty guys, Let's see what else we can find. It's pretty satisfying I reckon. We have two bonnet shells, one there and one there. This one looks super rough, check it out. Yeah, it's, look, it just needs a bath, honestly. Like, if we leave that in bleach for about three hours, I'd say the whole shell would come out just like that. So that's, that's decent. Is this a checkered bonnet? I reckon it is going to be whole. Comment down below what you guys think. Let's check it out. Oh, is it? It is, it sure is. Really nice tip to it as well. Remember guys, always flip over the rocks when you're done with them or place them back however you found them because there is some living things under there even though you might not be able to see them. But yeah, look at that. Two nice, really, really uh, unique bonnet shells. This one's got a lot of character with all of its different color and then that's a really pointy bonnet shell. Awesome. I've been looking at this the whole time. What the heck is that? Oh, okay, it's like a, that's actually kind of cool. It's like a scallop bivalve connected to a mollusk. That's actually pretty different. I think I'm gonna keep that. That's cool. Yeah, nice. look down under here and look at that we got a giant broken mellow amphora uh, it's a big baler shell pretty big it's definitely been destroyed not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it out oh man 
Oh no, it's gone. Oh man. Oh, holy moly, now it's gone under there for sure. Gotta be careful out here today. Don't want to get sucked out into that. Oh, there it is. Come on. Such an incredible color and pattern. No, don't go too far. Oh, come on. It's so close, it just can't get through that. Look at that color. It's like so thin right there. Oh, there we go. Oh man. That is so devastating, eh? That was hard to get out. Look at those colors. That would have been absolutely huge. Wow. It really hurts to see that. I'm still looking for my giant baler shell like this. A whole one, of course. One day, we're getting closer. We found this small bonnet. I mean, not bonnet, boat over there. I walk over here and look at this. Very, very sad sight right here. Oh man. Whoa, that would have been enormous. That's what a storm lasting two weeks will do to a beautiful shell. That's such a shame. Absolute giant that was at one stage. Oh man. And it actually came all the way around here. Imagine how big that would have been. Wow. Rip. Rip to the shell. That's a shame. Next day right here guys, and it is a crazy day down under. No idea why, yesterday the tide and the swell were dead low and flat. Almost negative uh, low tide. Today is just crazy, but we have a nice little volute looking shell here. No idea if it's whole, broken, live even. So let's check it out. Yeah, nice. Actually, that's really cool. It's got a really cool shape. It's definitely lost some of its color. As you can see, it's sort of uh, pale, I would say. It's got a really nice shape. Very cool. I like it, really nice tip to it as well. Apparently it's meant to be like 0.6 meters right now, which is actually considerably high, but it is super shallow right now. It's so awesome, I love these sort of days. First find of the day here. We might have a good little bonnet shell. I love when they're stuck. It's always such a mystery pulling them out. Oh, let me just move this one just a tad. I'll flip it back over once I'm done. There we go. What's it gonna be? Please be good. Whoa, that is beauty. Holy moly. That's gotta be one of the best conditioned uh, bonnet shells I've actually found in a while. How cool is that? You can't get much more satisfying than finding a nice shell under a rock, pulling it out, and it actually being perfection. Awesome. All right, now I'll move this rock here back. How cool is that? Let's see what else we can find today. Big old uh, Triton shell here, maybe. I reckon it's gonna be live by the way it's like wedged in here, but uh, you never know. Check it out, it's a bit old. Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely not alive, but it does have a little growing chitin on there. So if I were to take this shell, the chitin would die. Uh, you probably don't want to pull those off. So I'm not going to take it. Luckily, like these aren't a rare shell here. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. But I did notice while I was looking at that just then, I did notice this cone shell down there. Have it up. Yeah, that's way too old. Definitely gonna leave that. Not sure what it is either. All right. Bye-bye, Mr. Kite. Decent sized volute and maybe a uh, Triton shell down here. Come on, please be nice. It looks decent size. Yeah, not bad. Look, it's missing the top, which is obviously I not ideal, but it's definitely got a really nice shape. I really actually like it. It's quite unique. I think it's cool. Pretty positive that tiny triton there is live. So I'll leave that. That's pretty sweet though. 
I'll take it. I really like it. Decent. We've only been here five minutes too.